What's up, Jack? You know what? I bet you're the only kid in your class that can say I'm a YouTube star. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so are we on? <clears throat> We're not on YouTube yet. Uh, almost. It's starting. It's green. Oh, yeah. It says you are live. The internet can totally we see you now. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. But it's only July. We wish you a Merry Christmas. And a Happy New Year. Okay, so, Ludmilla, Anita, hello Jay, Jay, everyone, Amy. why are we singing We Wish You a Merry Christmas? Because we are having, you hear me in my book, our Christmas in July sale at Living on a Dime. Dun, 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 dun. And I need a silk pad on Amazon. And Dining on a Dime is on sale. And all of our other ebooks Whoa. are on sale. What was that noise? Dave. That was a weird noise. Um, Dave has a bearing going out. Dave, oh, nice. Dave has a bearing going out. <laughs> yes. So, if you guys want a sale, yes, if you guys want a good sale, go grab Dining on a Dime. I got everything shipped today for Monday's and yesterday's orders. I just put the link in, and, and it's also in the description below on YouTube. Several people ordered soap, and I got all that shipped too. I got everything shipped today. So, Dining on a Dime is on sale. Um, this is 25% off. Our ebooks are 50% off. So you can grab it and save yourself some dough. <laughs> We're baking today, you get it? Oh. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> so my next announcement while everybody's getting on here is if you go subscribe to our YouTube channel. <gasps> Dun, dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. We have a 50,000 subscriber giveaway, and we are giving away this gorgeous apron, Mom, aka Jill made. Mama Jill. And Jamie, I'm going to show the deal you found for me in a little bit. Don't tell them what it is. I just put the link in. We're giving away a apron and a cookbook, or if you already have a cookbook, I'll give you soap or an ebook or whatever you want. What? And you'll ship it out of the United States? And I'll ship it outside the United States. Whoa. So if you're in Canada, if you're in England, if you're in South what if Africa, you're in Luxembourg? if you're in Luxembourg, what if you're in Ooh, the Antarctica? Next is on. If you're in Antarctica, if you're in Chile. Antarctica? Oh. Ooh, man. Why not? There's a lot of shipping there. <laughs> so. Lots of likes and loves, my dear. Hake's family says just saying hello from Kazakhstan. <gasps> hello! So Hi, Mary. Mary is our viewer who lives not too far from us, and our first day at church, this lady came up to me and said, Aren't you Tara? <laughs> yeah. How do I know you? I watch your show. Or no, I read your I watch your no, not your show, because it wasn't the show back then. i I go to your website all the time. So anyway, so we're celebrating 50,000 subscribers. So go enter. Ooh. Are you still sitting over there? Yes, I'm still sitting there. Hold on. Um, so go enter. Oh, Sandy was saying can't leave a comment on YouTube. I'm not sure if you've left a comment before, Sandy, but you have to, you have to have an account like a Google account, and you have to log into that Google account, and then when you try to leave a comment, Google will say you have to have a YouTube channel. Well, you just click accept, and then all of a sudden you're in, and you can make comments to your heart's desire. But you don't actually have to make videos. <laughs> so that confuses some people. So And it is free to subscribe. And so what we're doing. You have to be logged in as a YouTube account. Yeah, and here's what you have to do. You have to be subscribed to our Living on a Dime YouTube channel. And then go comment on our 50,000 giveaway. That's where I'm picking the drawing from. Okay? All right. Des. I really think I need an apple seltzer. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So, um, I have something to say about cooking here for a moment. Oh, that's going to get it. if you can get me one, thank you. So, today we are making peanut butter cookies on page 279 in Dining on a Dime cookbook. Just right there, Mike's fine. The fridge water is fine. Dining on a Dime cookbook, page 279. Now, these are not the three ingredient recipes. These are the old fashioned cookies that grandma used to make. But I will tell you, they really do taste a lot better than the three ingredient cookies. Sorry, all you three ingredient cookie fans. I know you love them and they're really good, but these are, and they're good, don't get me wrong, I make them. 
but these are just a little bit fluffier. Mike's, Mike's letting you listen to the, the, the tingle of health. <laughs> can you guys see the tingle of health happening there? Yep. Wait, 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 uh, again? I don't know if they can see it on the camera. <gasps> no, not really. Oh, okay. Poor Linda. She said it's 106 heat index, 95 in Louisiana. Oh, have mercy. Okay, now I will say the only reason why oh, it looks like it's I am... Is it seriously raining? There's raindrops on there. Okay, can you go take the fan out of the car for me? Um, <clears throat> the only reason why I'm making peanut butter cookies today is because it's 70 degrees here in Colorado. <laughs> Sorry, guys. It's a good day to turn on the oven. So I was going to turn on the oven because I was like, there is no way I'm doing this. Okay, so now... I have a thing to say about cooking. So we're coming over here. Let's see if that's good. I can't tell. Here, let me come meet the camera. Okay, here. there, I think I got it. Now, can you see me? Uh, mostly the light. Oh, the light's in the way? Okay. Whoa, go ahead. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, so I have to explain something. People, <laughs> Mike's back there holding the light up like this. Um, People make baking too complicated. You need to make your baking easy. Now, I love baking. And the reason why I love baking is because I make it easy for myself. And how do I do that? I keep all of my baking supplies all in one place. So, I wanted to show you guys this so you can see. So, can you see in here, Dave? Yeah, yeah. Zoom in a little. Oh, wait. Oh, just turn it here. Yeah, you can see. He's just going to zoom in later. Okay. So, right here is my mixing bowls and measuring cups. Okay, I have them right here. Then I have all my cocoa powder, my spray oils, my dry milk, my yeast. I have five salts in my kitchen. My kitchen is about 20 by 20, maybe not even that big. 20 by 15 maybe, I don't know. It's not very big. And I have five salts in my kitchen. One in my baking center, two on the stove with different tops for different amounts depending on what I'm cooking, and one on the table and one with my spices. Why do I do that? I have fibromyalgia. I'm not going to go walking all over creation to get stuff out of the cabinets to bake. So then, yes, yes, you may. And then I have my, uh, my uh, powdered sugars and my brown sugars. Here's all my cookie cutters, my muffin tins, my food colorings, my dry buttermilk, cake mixes. My mixer goes here. Then, oh, here. I got a joke for you guys, too. Here, I'll show you my joke. Huh? And so then... Um, down here, I have my sugar and my flour's not here because I have the show, but my flour and my sugar are here. Baking powder, baking soda, all that. My baking spices, cinnamon, allspice, cloves, ginger, baking spices are all here. Everything is right here, and it's not even 18 inches to my refrigerator. The reason why I do that is I don't have my flour over in my pantry on the other side of the kitchen. I don't have my mixing bowls on the other side of the kitchen. Everything is right here so that I can just pull it down in one motion. Pull it down, open it, put my cocoa in, put it straight back. That is what helps make baking and cooking a whole lot easier is you need to set your kitchen up to have your areas so like this is my baking area and then I have all my spices not in alphabetical order whoever created that system for spices is out of their mind who uses allspice first but allspice is at the very front that's like the one time a year you use allspice put your onion powder your garlic powder everything at front that you use more often okay so make it convenient for yourself so that's my little lecture so here I have a little joke for you guys Mike and I found this. It says one more payment and it's ours. No, three more. Oh, three more payments and it's ours. And then this one is so relevant still for Colorado. We finally found a place we can afford. <laughs> is oh that not goodness. true? 
Michael sent me this eight years ago, and it still holds true today. Colorado is ridiculous. Okay, so now I'm back over here. I just wanted to explain that to you guys because the problem is people say, oh, I hate baking. It's just so complicated and all this. And it's not. It usually... You make it complicated. Yeah, you make it complicated when you don't need it to be. It usually takes me five minutes to whip up a batch of cookies. Seriously, five minutes is all it takes. So anyway, that's why I can't wait to get a kitchen for a studio because this is driving me crazy hauling stuff back and forth and yeah okay Shirley's asking how to get the dining on a dime cookbook okay can you tell her for a moment while I take it out yes to break? Shirley I'm about to paste a link into the comments for our Christmas in July sale and you can get our dining on a dime cookbook right there on our website and it's 25% off right now some things are 50% off but dining on a dime is 25 so yay uh, right there all right are you guys ready here we go. So in here I have my brown sugar, my sugar, my shortening, and I added margarine. Why did I add margarine? Because I ran out of shortening. <laughs> and I went to the store this morning. That's even funnier. Okay. <laughs> There's a thing called a shopping list. I know. <laughs> you can have your husband pick it up. An hour ahead of time well, they coming back. They say that before you do shows and stuff, you're supposed to look and see if you actually have all the ingredients, but uh, I don't know what that means. Dude, okay. Margarine is a perfect so, margarine, shortening, brown sugar, and my sugars are all in here. So, I'm going to cream these together. Can you see, Dave? <laughs> peanut butter oh yeah tonight we're with the homestead network go to the homesteadnetwork.com if you guys want to find a whole bunch of great youtubers that teach all kinds of things we got canners we've got gardeners on there everybody's on there Go check out thehomesteadnetwork.com. All right. So, um, I have my peanut butter and my eggs and my vanilla. I just love my new little, look at this. Is this not the cutest thing ever? See? And then it's the measuring cup. Ah! I just died when I saw that. It's too cute. Okay, so then my baking soda. Yeah, I had a little bit of a baking soda. Uh, was missing my baking soda. <laughs> Actually, the older kids took my baking soda into the bathroom. They're using it as a tooth scrub. And my salt. Oops, I forgot salt. Okay. Ugh. Got my salt in there. So I mix all this up first and then I add my flour. put your shopping list on your phone uh, <laughs> yeah that's a that's but, a funny thing but then if she wanted to get something she'd have to go out to the car and dig under the seats and see if she could find the phone and the charger <laughs> <laughs> all right here's another tip I keep my uh, flour and my sugar I keep 
a one cup measure in my flour and I keep a half cup measure in my sugar and then I always can measure the right amount and I don't have to get another measuring thing dirty. Okay, so then just get this all mixed up. Yeah, I don't do well with my phone. It's, yeah. The other day I had the car accident and two weeks ago and <laughs> I had no phone, I had no paper, no pen. The cell phone was right where it belongs, at home. The cell phone was where it belongs, at home, on the counter. So here I was writing the lady's license plate number down with lipstick I found from my show makeup that I left in the car. <laughs> on a box that I had from the books being delivered to the post office. Oh, have mercy on my soul. That was crazy. All right, so let me get this out of the way. All right, and then you want your oven on to, what do you want your oven on? You want your oven on at 375. Oh, Catherine was wondering if because we were sitting backwards for normal, if I was gonna make the cookies. I could have done that. Oh yeah, let's see Mike make peanut butter cookies. Oh, I make, I make, egg omelet. Well, that's true, you do. <laughs> Mike is not a peanut butter fan <clears throat> by any stretch of the imagination. He hates peanut butter, but that's okay. I still love you. <laughs> you like chocolate, don't you? Uh, yes, I love chocolate. Okay, now I like using this sill pat. If you want, you could use a piece of parchment paper and just reuse it every time. Um, so do these look as delicious as the ones on the thumbnail when they're finished? They better. I hope so. I don't know. Um, Is there a store brand ones on the picture? No, they're homemade. Well, they look like and um, I love my sill pat. Mom uses parchment paper, so use whatever you want to use. You just roll little balls. and put them on your baking tray. Oh, and today, remember my watermelon pickles I made two weeks ago, guys? I have them and I'm gonna show them to you. Aha. Uh -huh. Because they're done. So, just make your little balls like this. Wow, we have some birthdays for later. What? Yes. Birthdays? This is a great birthday week. Don't you agree, dear? Yes. I think this is the bir best birthday week of the whole year. It is? I'm sure it is. What do you think? I think it is. Yes, it is definitely. You hesitated. Sorry, I was thinking of the comment I was reading at the same time <laughs> I was talking to you. <laughs> okay, so then you put them on your... Hold on a second. Mom, I am, but I got a big mess here that if I put it in, it's going to get all over my stove. And Okay, so then just dip your fork in flour if you want, although I don't usually. And just push down. Oh, these actually do look better. And you have your the flour keep it from sticking? yeah the flour keeps it from sticking but i never get enough flour that it really does much um you know what wait a minute i'm gonna flatten these just a little bit i forgot i flattened them okay and then just like this Dun, 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 dun. And then, oops, forgot one. Poor mom, she hopes that her kids will get her birthday presents. Ta-da! Whoa, those look super spectacular. Now, some people, I don't Ooh, usually, but some people do also sprinkle. a very light sprinkling of sugar on top if you want. I think brown sugar would be better. I don't do that normally. I just bake them like it is. But here's how you do that if you want. Because that's too much sugar for when you get. We'll do the first one with sugar and then the second one. 
Mm. Oh, Mary says, I see you're wearing your Christmas apron. Christmas in July, Mary Hicks. Yes! <laughs> uh, Mrs. Hicks says, I did my fork in water and stuff in flour. Oh, that's a good idea, yeah. So my friend Mary from church, she does water instead of flour. That's a great idea. Okay, my oven's not quite heated up yet, but it's going in. Okay, so then you're going to want to cook them for 10 minutes. And there you go. So while that is happening, I got to show you guys a couple of things. So first... Here's my watermelon pickles. Now, notice anything about these watermelon pickles? They look like peaches. Well, they do look like peaches. <laughs> but if you will note, the day I made watermelon pickles, I had two full jars. <gasps> this is all I have left. Did the mice get them? And they just got ready. They called my name. Three days ago. They called your name? Oh, I couldn't they resist. You snarfed them all before <laughs> the show. snarfed them all. <laughs> before the show. So I've been eating on them for a week because I just, these are like one of my favorite foods ever. Mmm. No, you want to try it? A fly in your drink. Uh, you like sweet pickles? Yeah. No, oh man, you taste just like sweet pickles. Hi. <laughs> Aren't they good? Mm -hmm. Melba says there's a fly in your drink. It's not the food you drink. I don't know. <laughs> what she's referring to, but... Mm. A little extra protein in there. So this is what they look like. That's disgusting, Dad. Watermelon nope. pickles, guys. So, there you go. All right, so I'm going to show you my deals I got this week. We're cutting back on the number of videos that we're going to start doing. You are? Can you believe I'm actually saying no? For what? Because I'm tired. I mean, which ones? Well, we're going to stop doing so many Tuesday and Thursday ones. I see. That was what our YouTube meeting said. Remember? Yes. Stop it. Um, so, I'm going to start showing you guys my deals and stuff on the show. Yes? Yes, you may. Did you set the timer for um, that? I did set the timer. Okay. So then... Um, we're gonna do that right now. Jamie found me a really good deal, but first I have something I wanna show you. So, you check comments just briefly, Mike, while I look here. Did you want me to read some of the comments to you? Huh? Did you want me to read some of the comments to you? Oh, you can't. <laughs> well, Ramona says, happy early birthday, Tara. Thank you! Patty wanted to know if there was any rain out here. She's in Longmont. Not yet. Um, I started carpet cleaning my car carpets today so i hope it we have a, a lot of stuff here and he said woohoo for the sale i told my hubby if he doesn't buy it for me i was going to buy it for myself he asked for the link and i'm pretty sure i'm getting it for my birthday in september Ooh yay aaron made your teeth and salt and used them on burgers it was so cheap and so worth it yeah uh laurel wants to know how does the alka seltzer help you i'm not sure but there's something in the citric acid in the baking soda that makes me feel better with the aspirin um so for those who don't know tara uses it when her chronic fatigue syndrome is getting bad yeah um, like last night i was really really sick when i went to bed but i had already taken a pain medicine so i couldn't take aspirin <clears throat> so i drank a half a teaspoon of baking soda in some water and that helped me feel better so sarah says i'm so jealous it's like seven inches from the sun hot here that's a great way to describe it it's like I've seen that thing on Facebook where it yeah. shows like Earth and the sun and Texas in the middle. That is why we moved away from Texas and Kansas. Oh, Paulette says you look wonderful in your Joyeux Noël apron you have on today. Canada <laughs> loves you. Weren't you going to ask about boxing So today day? is Boxing Day. <laughs> we wish you a Boxing Day. I don't know. What song do they sing on Boxing Day? Or do they have a song? I have no I idea. I don't know. We should have asked. And is it actually boxing like boxing or some other no, kind of boxing? No, I don't know. I have no... I what it might is be something boxing else. day? Somebody tell us what boxing day is. I'm sorry I for my ignorance. You know what it is? Yeah, what I is? watch Dan TDM. He has it all the time. What is boxing day? Dan TDM um, does boxing day? Yeah, I, he didn't really describe it much, but... Um, all what I really know about it is where the, um, I'm pretty sure it's 
pretty sure it's a public like, holiday celebrated on the first day after Christmas Day. Yeah. See, so today after is Christmas. Yeah. Yeah. So today would be Boxing Day, wouldn't it? Isn't it? <gasps> oh, it's Boxing Day in July. Yeah. So it's Boxing Day <laughs> <Gotcha>. in July. <laughs> right over my. Uh, but I don't know what we do for Boxing Day. I have no idea how they celebrate or anything. Did he sure just sing like the theme from Rocky? Like <laughs> okay, so we get criticized a lot because everybody thinks we live off of starches and meats. They oh, eat a Angela, lot on Boxing Day? Or Angela was asking like about that. a Silpat. I'm not sure, but... Something Michael put like the that. link in there. Uh, Angela, I'm going to put a link in for Silpat so you can see what it is, and if you want, you can get it there. But Okay, turn it down, Dave. It's what Tara uses okay. to put her things on to bake them to keep it cleaner. Yes. All right, so we get criticized a lot thinking that... Lots of hijacks, Jack. Oh, you don't eat any fruits and vegetables. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, we do eat fruits and vegetables. So I thought I would yeah, show you, you. I just picked this up for this next week to two weeks, probably probably about a week's worth of vegetables to fill in for the rest of the stuff. So I got celery, I got lettuce, I got peppers, I got onions, I got carrots, and a watermelon. 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 So guys, we do eat fruits and vegetables. It's more vegetables than fruits. We eat more vegetables than we do fruit. Dave is right, but we, have vegetables we eat every, a lot with every meal that you yeah. prepare. So every dinner, I have some sort of vegetable. So what I will do is I'll cut up peppers and celery and carrots, carrots. and I'll cut all those up and I'll serve them with ranch dressing. I do that probably for what 90% of our meals. I'll make fajitas with the peppers and the onions, which is on the cooking list for this week if I can remember to actually cook them. I had green chili on for tonight and I forgot to <laughs> fix anything. We have a number of requests for birthday songs. Huh? Do you have the candle? Hold on. Can you throw it in the trash? Okay, and then, yes, but let me show my one other deal real quick. Well, should we do, we want to do birthday first or show me the deal? I think we should do the birthday just in case. Okay. Mike's having a senior moment. Uh oh. Uh oh. What? Boxing Day is St. Stephen's Day, says Debbie. And so does Denise. I have no idea what that means. Hmm. Stephen, like, martyred Stephen in the Bible? Well, I would assume that would be St. Stephen, yeah. I have no idea. Well, since it doesn't say St. Stephen, some other, the, the something or other else, it's probably St. Stephen the Gardener? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, probably St. Stephen that was martyred in the Bible. Or St. Stephen, While the fixer Paul of cars. looked on and held their cloaks. Yes. Okay. On that note, let's sing happy birthday. <laughs> Just kidding. So we had um, actually one we don't have a name for. Well, let's see. Uh, Penny says Tanner Lynn, her granddaughter. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. Alex said his grandmother, who's 90. Mm -hmm. uh, I love your videos and so does my grandma. Today is her birthday, 90th birthday. I don't Ooh, know who it is. Sing to Alex's grandma then. And Brenda says my nephew is with me. He'll be 33 tomorrow on the... But on the autism spectrum, he's... Brenda's nephew, Brenda. Alex's grandma, who else? And Brenda's nephew. Brenda's nephew, Alex's grandma, Penny's granddaughter, Tanner Lynn. Do you remember all that? Okay, we'll go with Tanner, Alex's grandma. Okay, you ready? <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Tanner Lynn, Alex's, Alex's grandma, grandma, and, and Brenda's, Brenda's nephew. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday to you! Woo! Yay! And Jack blew out the candle for you guys. Thank you for watching and happy birthday! Happy birthday! <laughs> okay, so now I gotta show my other good deal here. Oh my! Dave, get ready to tilt down. <laughs> okay. Well, actually, maybe not. Might not have to. Oh. Okay, more picky dough. Sorry. Who did you stuff in there? There you go. Who did you stuff in there? It looks like you stuffed somebody in there when you robbed the stagecoach. <laughs> okay, you're gonna have to scoot over just a little bit more. Oh dear. No, we gotta be. Stage like oh, I've never okay. seen a western in my life. Okay. I don't know what you're talking about. All right, so this is my other. I'm so happy. Oh, Tara so got a gift today. Well, it's... so Jamie. My friend and YouTuber. Oh, that can't possibly be touched. 
Show found me. me the best deal ever. So I love smoked turkey legs. And I mean, I love them. I could eat it for every single meal. But of course, when you pay $7.50 or $8 at the fair, you're not going to be eating a turkey leg every day. So I get one turkey leg once a year if they go to the Renaissance Festival. Yeah? And we um, pay too much for it. Yeah, it's having issues with Growing her mint. Okay, I'll I'll ask I'll answer your mint question in just a minute. So Jamie yesterday went to the grocery store and look what she found for me. After the break. <laughs> she found on clearance. Dun dun dun. dun, 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 dun. Smoked turkey legs. Smoked turkey legs. So I'm gonna throw these in the freezer. And then cook me one once every week or so, or two or three. I don't know how long. I have, how many turkey legs did I end up getting, Jamie? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is just like my birthday. Eight, nine, ten turkey legs. Wow. I'm so happy. Ten turkey You're legs. Be so sick of turkey legs. Look at that. 282. Is that not a great deal? Are you sure? No, that says three. That is 32. a great deal. Or is that upside down? This they're well they're that's, different sizes. So this oh. one's 385, this one's 332. So I have all different sizes. Isn't that glorious? Yes. I'm so happy. It's like Christmas in July. Mm -hmm. So I had to show you guys my turkey legs. Wait, this is like Christmas in July. Ah! Okay, here we go. Cookies. Ow. Oh, this is cookie perfection. All right, guys, what do you think? Does that look luscious or what? You know, even though I don't like peanut butter, <laughs> they smell great. So, oh, you're not allergic to peanut butter? I wish. Oh, yep. So Debbie says St. Stephen's Day, or the Feast of St. Stephen is Christian Saint's Day to commemorate St. Stephen, first Christian martyr or proto-martyr. I'm not sure what that word is, but celebrated on the 26th of December in the Latin church and 27th of December in Eastern Christianity. There you go. I didn't know that. So it is the St. Stephen we were talking mm -hmm. about. Okay. Well, they said that um, it's a day when you, who said it? When you, Patty says, you take goodies to your neighbors in boxes the day after Christmas. Oh, seriously? Is that why it's called Boxing Day? Yeah. Here, I thought all the all the teenage boys got to get all their frustrations out on their brothers. Uh, oh, Jack. Sharon says, knock, knock. Who's there? Amos. Amos who? A mosquito. Oh! <laughs> Keep the door closed, buddy. <laughs> okay, now you can on these cookies, if you wanted to have like a peanut butter cup, you could add chocolate chips, which is de very delicious too. Mom, are you going to answer calories? So I didn't get, um, Ooh, so hot. I didn't put, pe I didn't put chocolate in here because I didn't know who was going to be eating them. So I'm going to make some more while I answer questions. Uh, what is Cat Lover's question, Dave? Uh, she's having issues with growing her Okay, so tell me what your problem is with your mint, because it could be several things. Mints take, mint, yes you may, it may be really hot. Be careful, the pan's hot. Sorry, you didn't want you to bring yourself. They're really hot, so let them cool, you might blow it. Um, mint takes a lot of water. It is a very high water herb. It is not a low water herb. Um, it likes to spread out, but it does well in pots. But if you have it in the garden, be prepared that it is going to spread all over the place. And I mean, it will go all over the place, especially if it has water. So let me know your specific problem with it. It does attract spider mites. So if you're having a spider mite issue, get some dish soap and some water and put it in a spray bottle, like a, I don't know, a couple tablespoon of dish soap in a spray bottle of water and just mm. douse the uh, plant with that mixture. Spray it on there. Make sure you get all the leaves and everything. Honey, yes, we do. This have is delicious. Mosquitoes. 
and then respray it uh, every three to four days for like two weeks, and that should kill the spider mites. Yes, we have mosquitoes here in Colorado, although thankfully they haven't really been that bad this year. Sometimes they're really bad, other times they're not. Oh man, and it's shocking says, considering how wet it has been here too. Heather says her mints is like a weed. Yes, mint can turn into a weed very it easily. Good, though. It would get rid of your allergy issues. It does smell really good. Is it good, Jack? Delicious? Very good. Very delicious. Joy Marie's watching from the beautiful Pacific Northwest have it, having a rough day. Oh, sorry, it's a rough day, but glad it's beautiful there. Um, dear? Yes. We had, uh, Ramona wants to know, are they soft cookies? Yes. The shortening it or, and or margarine is what makes them soft. So if you want them crunchy, you can use butter instead. Sin so says we used to get these in elementary school to crisscross design on top. That's uh -huh. pretty standard for peanut butter cookies, right? It's kind of an old oh. fashioned thing. Yum. Mm-hmm. That's good. Uh, oh, are you ready for more? Man, that's really good. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, sorry. Let's see. I have mm. a whole bunch here and I just wasn't prepared. Wait okay. a minute, just a second. Sorry, didn't mean to interrupt you. But, while well, Mike is getting me questions, um, I'm trying to decide if I should get an air fryer or an Instapot, Instapot, Inst Instant Pot, whatever it's called. So if you guys have some of those, let me know. I'm trying to decide if I should buy one or not. Go ahead. Shoot. So Karen says, I want a cookie. Other people are talking about cookies and milk and all sorts of things. Yeah. Now, Allison is asking Sorry. everyone who likes the Silpat liners have never used them. You like it, don't you? I love it. Mom does I not. I like it too. I like it because it, you don't really have to scrape the baking pan so mm -hmm. much if you accidentally burn something on it, Mom it comes off so much easier. likes parchment paper for cookies better. She just folds it up. I like the Silpat because I can use it for other things like um, toffee, taffy, fudge, those kinds of things. I can put those on there and they don't stick and you can just pull them off. Hard candies like... Um, like sucker type, yeah, like peppermints, Christmas peppermints. candies, those kinds of things. Those are good. Um, Kelly wants to know what's for dinner. Well, it was supposed to be green chili. But since you're not feeling well, maybe we should go to Aunt Alice's. <laughs> so, it was supposed to be green chili, and I didn't get the chicken out of the freezer. I forgot. Okay, come over and tell them what you think. <laughs> Yeah, oh, whatever. come on. They're peanut butter cookies. <laughs> Since when don't you like peanut butter? BJ's just, just carrying on. Dangling. Actually, someone was asking if Dave likes peanut butter. No. Not really. Uh, Mike and David like don't like it. Me and Dad, that I, I'm definitely Dad's son. Because I just like, highly dislike it. Well, Linda yeah. says you can have one turkey like a month. I don't think so. That won't last that long. I'm thinking one a week. Because that's like four servings of turkey, so that'll last me a few days. <laughs> where was it that you got the, where was it that the turkey legs came from? King Supers. And what was so funny was Dave and I were out shopping yesterday oh. and we had just left Sprouts because somebody said they had them there and they had no idea what I was talking about. And Jamie called me on the phone while we were just leaving that store and she said, guess what I just found? Well, it's funny because when I went to pick him up from her, she said, yeah, I just happened to see it on Tuesday, and Tara was talking about the show on Monday. I know, and here I was just looking. I literally, it hadn't even been five minutes, and I You're had been looking. You're going to a pizza place. Yeah. That pizza so. looks good. So, Heather says, great looking cookies. I'll have to make them for hubby. He loves peanut butter cookies. You know, even though I don't like peanut butter, I know that most people do, and that it's awesome for most people. It's so. okay. I love you anyway. Um, I'm a defective. I'm, I'm not a peanut. <laughs> that was weird. <laughs> People were talking about uh, all the storage you did in there, and they were loving it. Patty said, I have a hutch for all my baking needs. Pans, 
yeah. cetera, a baking cabinet too. Keep and it all together. She keeps everything in mason jars, which must be might be yeah, your style. Yeah, that would be fun. I would love to keep everything in mason jars. That would be so cool. And Anne Jeanette said, I, I sold Tupperware many moons ago. We were trained to set up the cabinets in centers, i.e. Mm -hmm. the baking center, uh, breakfast center, etc. That's exactly Lynn, what I do. Lynn says try the air fryer. It's a bomb. Lynn says, try the air fryer, it's the bomb. Yeah. So here's the thing. I am so sick of cleaning up frying pans from frying stuff. Oh, uh-huh, they're not good, but he's taking two more. <laughs> uh -huh. You gotta do this on camera, boy. You need you to show to everybody. PJ. Uh, PJ had an eight hour night's sleep the other day. Woo! Boom! Except he woke up saying he felt like he'd been hit with a brick. And Today? I was like, yeah, but you know, I told him, I said, a lot of people, when they're having lack of sleep and they actually start sleeping, they feel worse before they feel better. Okay. Well, <laughs> no, I, I just, do. Actually, I don't. No, that's but, fine. Um, oops, let's see. Where were we? Uh, Kathleen. Brenda's, uh, oh, sorry. Go ahead. Uh, Brenda was saying about the shopping list. I started writing shopping lists on my fridge where I put a big piece of chalkboard contact paper. Try to snap a picture of it at least once a day so if I get out I have a current list. That's a smart idea. If I actually kept my phone See, I send myself an email on the phone, yeah. but since you don't keep your phone. Well, when we keep a shopping list on the fridge, it's just I don't ever remember to write it on there, and then I forget the shopping list, and I'm usually calling home saying, what's on the list? I'm at Walmart. Yeah. Uh, Kathleen says I ordered some ebooks. And today I ordered the print version of Die on a Dime. You just mentioned you shipped yesterday's orders. When will you ship today's? I shipped everything that had been ordered at 1.30 this afternoon had been shipped. So if... Shortly before the show. Yeah. So if you... I was literally running to the post office before the show. If you ordered after 1.30 today, I will ship them tomorrow. I just shared when the we, link for the Christmas sale again. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. So when we have a sale, I ship every, I try to ship every day if I can. So. <laughs> Janine says my British hubby thinks peanut butter is an abomination. I love peanut butter. My in English thing, like hating iced tea. That's funny. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know for exactly why I don't like it. I, I, I have this memory of it making me horribly sick when I was younger and now I smell it and it just makes me. Ugh. So the thing about the air fryer and the Instapot is I really don't want to turn on the, our air conditioner does not keep up. We got too small of an air conditioner in this house when we bought, when we got it. And if I turn on the oven in the summer, our, it won't go below 80, even with the air conditioner on. And most days it won't go below 77, even with the air conditioner on. And a lot of days, if it's like a hundred and something degrees, it won't go below 80, even though I have it on. So I was thinking maybe the Instapot and the um, fryer, the air fryer, would be an easier way to cook in the summer without turning on the oven. It makes rice in eight minutes. Wow. That is really good. I would like that a lot. That's what I was thinking. Put up the rice cooker, go shave, and then come back and have some rice. Yeah. Because well, well, Mike eats rice at breakfast. <laughs> Sometimes. The only thing is, is I don't have counter space to set this stuff and let it just sit on my counter to use it all the time. I don't know where I would keep it. That's my biggest problem is I have no counter space to just keep it stored on my counters. Because see, you can see, I mean, I know I have my gnome decorations here, but <clears throat> I only have like, what, 12 inches probably over here. This is full of tea and rice and stuff. And over here I have... Well, Emily's blender will be gone in two and a half weeks. She can't live without it, so... I guess I could maybe put it over there. For those of you who don't know, she's headed off to college. Emily's leaving for college, so... Dave's getting so, into high school. Uh, and Dave's going to high school. So... Big kids. Denise says, love my air fryer. Still experimenting with it. Going to use it tonight. Sarah, I love still pat for peanut brittle and such. Um... And Jan says, I use parchment paper. Does the silk pad work better than parchment paper? It just works differently. So parchment paper works really good if you're only making things like cookies. So like mom only makes things like cookies. But I do other things like toffee and hard candies, like hard Christmas candies and stuff like that. And it works a lot better for those. Um, so. Sorry, there were some others there. Uh, let me go back over here. Um, so Ludmilla says you should do a chocolate version of the cookies. 
And Carrie said, I should have said my grandson's nine today. Happy, happy birthday, birthday, Carrie's grandson! Yes. Um, we get to happy birthday. Lynn was wondering, does baking soda, what about baking soda and fibro? We, it helps my fibro, yeah, it helps. Is it the fibro or the CFS? Um, it helps. So if you get that sick flu feeling with your fibromyalgia, that's what it helps with. So I get a sick kind of fluish feeling with my CFS and fibromyalgia to where I just feel like I'm going to throw up and everything's hurting. And so it helps with that. And Sarah is asking for the green chili recipe, so I'll have to go find that here in a second. Show us how to make fudge, says Stephanie. Yes, please. I have an Instapot and use it a lot, but it's not a must-have. Cooking... Here, I just copied it because it was about to go off the screen. Cooking a whole pot of baked potatoes in a total of 25 to 30 minutes is nice. Guys, hashtag love for Dave in the comments. The only thing about the Instapot is I feel like I would need like five of them to do dinner. <laughs> You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. Jennifer says Instapot is awesome frozen ground beef cooked quickly. I threw in a complete frozen meal last night. It was ready in 20, 30 minutes. Wow. That's what I was wondering. Could I throw in like frozen meatballs and then they would be done? Yeah, and your mom was saying she doesn't like the Silpat because she doesn't like having to wash it and dry it and everything. But Sarah says I just swish soapy water on it and rub it with my hand and then lay it on the dish strainer to dry. That's, That's exactly what we do. What I do. It's so, so easy. Yeah. It's um, really easy. Uh, Brenda says, I have both love both. If I could only keep one, though, I'd keep the Instapot, which is basically a great pressure cooker. Would cook your green chili in about 30 to 45 minutes with frozen chicken. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. Wow. Lots of people loving it. So what else are they saying? Uh, Lisa's asking, is instant cooker, instant cooker, pressure cooker? It sounds like yes. Probably, it's, I bet it's more portable, maybe? I don't know. Um, Shirlene, I would like to learn how to use my Instapot air fryer more. She hasn't, but doesn't use them very much yet. Let's see. Oh, uh, by the way, okay, wait a minute. Dave says, everybody give a hashtag love for Dave. Give Dave Everyone's a thumbs up, guys. Wait, wait, what are we thumbs upping Dave for? I don't know. He just wants. love for Dave. Every, someone brought it up. He so needs like, to feel need validated. To oh, so, uh, <laughs> We'll look for a hashtag love for Dave here. Sarah says the Instapot power pressure cooker XL doesn't get your kitchen hot. Plus it uses very little electricity. See, that's that what I heard. That would be great for this time of year. Okay, so I have an announcement that I want oh, everybody to listen to real quick. Oh, and Melissa has a Walmart version. Oh, they have Walmart versions? Are they perfectly. cheaper? She said I have the Walmart version called Farberware 7-in-1 programmable pressure cooker. It's $50 and works perfectly. <gasps> Instapots are 100 I love it. Oh, well maybe I should just look at the Walmart version then. Lots of likes coming across. Okay, there guys. You go, Dave. I have Woo! a question. If anyone has the full complete series of Monk or Psych uh -oh. in good working condition that you want to sell, please email me. They're like 125 bucks on Amazon, and I'm like, that's crazy. For so, all of the seasons, though. Yeah, for all the seasons, but still, that's crazy high. So, if anybody so has... Love for Dave's. If anybody has, um, like Dave's the man. Dave's the man. <laughs> if anybody has them and you Dave's guys want up. to um, sell them, please let me know if you're not watching anymore. We love Psych and Monk, and we oh. can't find it anymore. Dave's getting a lot of love for Dave. All right. Ah. Yeah, we kind of we used to watch Psych most episodes with the kids about once a year although there were some that we didn't watch with the kids well but. not all of them yeah but. but we know which ones are proper for the kids to watch and which ones aren't now yeah um let's see a whole bunch of stuff uh brenda is wondering with baking soda and water for fibro and cfs how much to start i said a half a cup of water and a half a teaspoon of baking soda is it half okay yes i thought i was using a quarter um, it doesn't really matter. It's just on your taste. Just whatever amount of water you can gag down to get the baking soda down. So Jennifer said, I bought a cookbook last night. I've been waiting to buy and saw they were on sale. Thanks for shipping so quickly. Looking forward to it. Making Thank pizza. You. She says she's making pizza again tonight. Yeah. Did you uh, Psych was on Netflix, but they removed it. Because now they want you to buy it for some reason. Yeah, Psych's not on for Netflix. For some reason, because they want to get paid. 
that's yeah, the that's, reason, that was that's the reason too. They used to get paid on Netflix like eight dollars a month. That's true. Sarah was wondering what CFS was. She thought it was chicken fried steak. So Tara has a chronic illness called chronic fatigue syndrome, and apparently it's called a million other things too. But apparently it's uh, well, she also has fibromyalgia with it, which apparently is often the case. So Dolores says. You guys look too young to have older kids, and your son has a beard. I can't believe it. I know. That's my baby. <laughs> Let's see. I had a whole bunch of more things here. Uh, Brenda said her, her nephew loved it. Said me with a huge smile on his face. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, that yeah. was for you. That was for your birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> um, let's see. We answered that, we answered that, we answered that. Uh... Kathy said her dog contracted heartworms from mosquitoes, so I planted mosquito plants around all the doors in the house. Did it work, Kathy? Yeah. Because we were we were, we've planted things to keep bugs away before, and it hasn't worked that great. So mosquito plants are the citronella plant, but it's a little iffy if it actually works or not. Rebecca says, thank you for all your frugal tips and tricks. I just moved and furnished my whole living room for $38. Woo! I'm so excited. See? That's awesome. We're worth something. So Mike and I were talking about this the other day. If we actually died, <gasps> would it affect anyone's life? <laughs> it would affect everyone watching. We were wondering here. that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we think it would affect more people online than in real life. I can only think of like a handful of people it would actually affect in real life. Well, <laughs> we were like, hmm, well... I think our viewers miss us more than the people we really know in real life, I mean. Although, for, what about the viewers who know us in real life? <gasps> Mind blown. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Louise wants to know, how's the dog doing after the lump is removed? Very he is good. totally back to normal. Yep, there he is, walking around now. He's, He's escaped. doing much better. He escaped. We keep <laughs> Mike's him... having tremors. His nails, he was abused before we got him, and his nails were allowed to grow way too long, and we can't ever get them trimmed back enough so they aren't clinking all over, and... <gasps> Sharon says, what would we do on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday? <laughs> and Patricia says, it would affect many people. Oh, but see, it would you. affect a lot of people online, but we were wondering if it would even affect anybody in person. I mean, we know all these people that would probably come to the funeral. They would be sad, and then they would go to Chipotle and have lunch <laughs> and go about their business. <laughs> I That's know. what we were wondering. Would anybody in real life, I can think of a few <clears throat> people in real life where it would actually affect their lives. Like Jamie's Nan. one of them, just in case you're wondering, Jamie. Nan. But Nan and Jamie and maybe my brother and sister-in-law. So there's four. Yeah. Aside from our kids. <clears throat> we don't count our kids. We know our kids. Yeah. I can think of maybe ten people that if we actually died, it would truly affect their life. Really? <laughs> Sorry. Um, Ramona says, I spray mint Listerine, the off-brand, around the yard and mosquitoes stay away. Oh, that's well, a that's, good that's idea. A, I huh. never did not know that. Um, Rebecca said, I have the book and love it. I'm thinking of giving them as Christmas presents. That's, they've been really popular at Christmas yeah. for Christmas we presents. We sell a lot at Christmas. Yeah. Slabs of ribs, fully cooked from raw to done in an hour. Oh, Lynn. Yum. Brenda says, just look at any electric pressure cooker, Instant Pot rice cooker, plus more appliances. Any of those types that are programmable usually have presets for meats, rice, etc. I've got several from stovetop to electric, four quarts to ten quarts, and use them a lot. Really? See, my problem is I have nowhere to store these things. That's my biggest problem, and I was trying to decide if it was really worth trying to... Angela, no, I am not sharing my smoked turkey legs with nobody. The truth is that... Nobody wants them anyway. I'm the only one. I like them. turkey a lot, but the turkey legs, I don't particularly care for any more than other turkey, and so I'd rather let Tara have the pleasure. Ellie likes them. I'll show them with Ellie. She likes them. I would but, eat them, just I yeah. don't find them special like Tara does. Uh, what Angela, about me? Oh, wait, I sorry. Uh, Teresa said, just went and ordered your cookbook. Can't wait to get it. Yay. Thank, Thank you, you, Teresa. I'm glad you got it on a special. Rebecca wants to know if there's a limit to how many that... They can buy. You can um, buy it. Until well, we run out. <laughs> well, we have 2,500 books sitting in the garage. So if you order up to 2,500, we have them. Carolyn says, I think you mentioned you're in Colorado. Where are you? I'm in Greeley. We're near mm -hmm. Longmont. Yep. Just northeast of Longmont. 
in we Maine. We go to Greeley all the time. We know Greeley yep. quite well. Actually, what were we just in Greeley for the other day? Uh, I was I there? Me and Nana. Oh no, I went to the vet that's almost in Greeley. Yeah, I wasn't in Greeley. I was just uh, headed that direction. Thank you, everyone. Denise says I'd be lost. Rebecca says too sad to even think about life without you guys. <laughs> Thank you. But Sarah see, would that's cry all. So hard. We're not gonna die, Sarah. At least that's if all we the are. online Nobody's told people, us that. Though. But I don't think anybody in actual real life, aside from our maybe immediate family, would. I'm waiting for Mary would, or somebody to chime in. Would here. even notice if we were see, gone. <laughs> see the, the the people that live in Colorado. It's like crickets. They must know something. The rest of you guys Jamie, don't know. Now Jamie would notice. Jamie would notice. Yes. Because I wouldn't be calling or saying, "Can I borrow?" <laughs> <Whatever>. <laughs> And Genesis, my son-in-law found another Dining on Dime cookbook, 2005 edition at Goodwill today for four dollars for me. It was originally purchased and given yeah. as a Christmas gift, but I believe they've never even cracked it open. It was in pristine condition. Wow, good. I bet Grandma bought it for somebody and forgot where it was. Probably because we've had a lot of grandmothers buy them for their like yeah teenagers and twenty-something grandchildren. Yeah. So let's see. There's a. There's more still on the other page, but I was just looking at the current ones. Yeah, a few people had talked about. There's some of the people in England were getting, were saying, "I feel bad because I bought it at a thrift store." Like, hey, hey, if you buy it at a thrift store, I say more power to you. I think it's great. I am still waiting for the day where I find one at a thrift store garage sale. We have sold more than 550. Well, actually, I think we're up to 600,000 now with the eBooks. We're getting really close to 600,000 copies. Um, with uh, all of our ebooks and print books combined, hmm. and I still have not seen one at a thrift store. I know they're out there, but I would I would like to see one at a thrift store garage sale. I think that would be hilarious. Jamie says we have mosquitoes in Colorado, but there's a spray truck that sprays to make them not as bad. Yeah, we have a spray truck. Have not in me, just but in some of the maybe? yeah, some of the towns do. Wow, Mobile wants to know if you've added ever added chocolate chips on the cookies. I haven't, but you can. Or you could do chocolate frosting if you want to. Yeah. So. Hmm. Anyway. Uh, Donna says Boxing Day was traditionally when the household staff in big houses got their Christmas box from the employers after they'd worked through Christmas. Oh, interesting. That's really interesting. Well, here, I, uh, I always thought, because boxing, when I think of boxing, I think of Rocky, you know. And I'm not into that. <laughs> See, Jamie so, just wants me to get the Instapot so she can try it. <laughs> See, I think we should try to make <clears throat> soap in it. Uh-oh. Heather says Instapot's like glorified electric pressure cooker. That means your mom will like it because it's glorified. <laughs> Back at your mother-in-law. <laughs> <laughs> she says, however, I have an electric one and love it. Mike noticed mom says glorified. We call all of our her recipes say have the word glorified. This is glorified baked beans. This is glorified. Anytime uh, she makes something that's more special than the regular, yeah. she calls it glorified. Yeah. And she also loves to oh say kick goodness. it up a notch. <laughs> Yeah. Wait a minute. I have an air fryer. Too much money and it takes up too much space. Don't let the bloomin' onion ring onion, onion recipe. recipe throw you. It's annoying that they just don't turn out. Oh. Oh, great. Emily loves your shirt, Dave. Yeah. I saw that. Huh. What is an air fryer? Uh, yeah, Allison, I put my shopping list on the phone because I always have it at the store. <laughs> uh, let's see. Yes? Probably should be going. My husband doesn't like peanut butter, but likes the cookies. Oh, okay. Oh, really? Um, huh. Let me see. Was there anything more urgent over here? Um, I thought I had peanut butter and but some other ones like that were butter. important. But oh, it looks like we got all that. So let's just take a quick look here. Um, made the best roast ever back. in an instant pot. Please huh. keep it on the island. It's a wonderful decorative item. Let's Interesting. See. Uh, the, the insides left out to wash. I did not know that. Um, oh, oh, I see. Sorry, I'm looking quickly because Tara's not feeling well, actually. I just, Wait a minute, uh, Tara. eBay Psych, the complete series, $52.99. Oh, there really? 31 discs sealed. Oh, seriously? Thank you, J. Joe. Oh, and J. Joe, were you the one that ordered the soap the other night? I didn't forget. I'm going to send you a... <gasps> invoice tonight so don't worry 
So, yeah. Oh, I need to get the link for Going Batty. Yes, so Going Batty, oh, we're over time. Going Batty is <coughs> on YouTube right now, I think. Sorry, guys, didn't mean to go over, but if you guys want to go check out Going Batty, tell them Living on a Dime sent you so they know that you heard from us. And don't forget to sign, go to, live, go to YouTube, Living on a Dime, our channel, subscribe, and sign up on our 50,000 giveaway to win an apron from mom and don't a Dining on to, a Dime cookbook. Don't forget to comment uh, on the video that's drink. called the 50,000 subscriber giveaway because we're picking one of the people out of all those comments for that. Yep. Oops, and you have to be subbed. We'll one check. person. So, so Mike's putting going baddies email or I mean YouTube link. link here. I think they're live now. They are live right Sorry, now. Sorry guys. So. We went... If you Over. if you click it and leave, we won't be sad. Yeah. I mean, we'll be we'll maybe just miss you, but you know. All right, guys, we're we'll be go back to. Friday, and we aren't doing anything. I don't think. Mike said I can't do anything on Friday. So. What? Because it's a special day. Oh, it's a special day. That's right. I did say that. <laughs> so Mike's making my birthday cake for the show. <gasps> I am. Hmm. How do you make dairy free, gluten free? Dad, let's just sugar free. Dad, let's just get a bunch of frosting uh, or something and put frosting around him. No. <laughs> Jack, just right up. Is the show done? All right, everybody, go check out Going Batty Bye. on YouTube. Bye. Have a good night. Please visit us at Living on a Dime. Yes. Bye. Bye. Bye Facebook. Thanks for joining us today. Bye. Bye. Facebook is dead. Bye, YouTube. Okay.